Yo guys, welcome back to a PUC Joe Chilling Rain video. And if you guys are looking to maybe get some free wins against Eternatus VMAX, you have come to the right place because I am playing today a Crabominable Echoing Horn Galissapod deck. So Crabominable, I've never really tried before, but the attack fight alone for a twin energy or triple energy does 30 damage. And if you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 50 more damage for each Pokemon fewer in play. So with one Crabominable in play, I think you're doing 280 damage with a poke with a Crabominable and another Pokemon on your bench, which will most likely be the case a lot of the time. You're doing 230 damage, which will knock out quite a few Pokemon. You're also two-shotting things. And the idea is we can also make your opponent play into the attack with Echoing Horn, allowing us to put a basic Pokemon from the opponent's discard on their bench. So we play Echoing Horn, we slap Pokemon in play, so we can power up both Glissapod and Crabominable's fight alone attack. Yes, Glissapod is our backup attacker. This is why this deck auto wins Eternity is pretty much. It's not, well, as long as you don't dead draw, obviously. Um, because Hard Time Slash does 30 plus 15 more damage reach V and GX in play. Eternatus might just put Crobats, Eternatus, Moltres in play. Um, Moltres falls to Glissapod. Crabominable can destroy Eternatus VMAX, so... Pretty good anti eternus VMAX deck. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC gel pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. If you guys are ever looking to get any set codes, like Chilling Rain code still, or you're looking for any other sets like Shining Fates, Battle Styles, Stone Shield Base Set, Rebel Clash, or any other older set, any GX or V or promo code, ETB code, pre release kit code that has the pre release promos in it, get them all over at Car Cabin. If you get any codes at Car Cabin at the checkout, use my discount code, code LVF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, help out Car Cabin. Shout out to Car Cabin, check them out, use code LDF. Also, check out the video articles I've been posting. So, the list I'm playing. Now, I am playing a Greens Engine in the deck because we don't play any abilities outside of Mew, which we do have to play the Mew because, of course, Rapid Strike Urshfu is just too popular. Um, but yeah, we do play a Greens Engine. We have Scuba Net in the deck, so if we can go net the Mew, if we do happen to start with it, we have that ability. But yeah, Greens allows us to get two trainers. Might as well play the Greens Engine in the deck while well, we still can. We can, you know, grab Echoing Horn with the Greens. If we already have an energy in our hand, grab Echoing Horn, grab our stuff. Um, we just have four Carbonables, four Carbonables, a 2 2 Glow Spot line. Pretty straightforward stuff as I do some myself. Again, the four Echoing Horn, part of the whole deck strategy. Three of a win sense to search with greens. I am playing Great Ball. I'm not playing Calm because we play 13 Pokemon. Pokemon Communication is not a very reliable card. Two level balls, uh, four quick balls, one great catcher, three boss. I am playing a bit of a heavier Gust engine, mainly because we can Echoing Horn Pokemon and play to knock out with Gust. So that's why I am playing a little bit more of a heavier Gust engine in the deck. However, I could see you going down to two boss or even just cutting the great catcher out of the deck altogether for like another pokey gear or another draw supporter we got two rods yep two poke gear wouldn't mind playing more of these to find your supporters no denene no crobat obviously so two scuba net but you can also use scuba net to help with fight alone's attack output and get me off the board but you can use scuba net to return a pokemon and then all of a sudden fight alone just takes a big one shot that could be how you clean the game up bunch of supporters uh research greens erica is kind of decent in here i mean it's kind of a no-brainer to play it if you're filling your opponent's bench up you might as well play erica which can draw you an insanely big hand that's why we are playing it it's a very good combo if you're playing it with equine horn and then we got two bruno because it's a really good card to play in single price decks um a guzma Hala can also be good in here to get your uh get your twins and triples for free peers could be played too if you want to play guzma Hala. got one balloon one struggle ups this is just here so that your uh Crabominable does more damage against those psychic weak pokemon like gengar mimikyu and shadow rider that's why it's in here. Shadow Rider is a little sketchy because of Shadow Mist. However, if you get a Twin Energy down, Shadow Mist cannot stop you. You might get cheesed by a Gengar Mimikyu's Horror House, though. So, Shadow Rider is 50-50. If they don't Shadow Mist you before you get a Twin in play, you're good. Or they can also stop doing Shadow Mist for whatever reason, and then just evolve into Shadow Rider VMAX. Or you get completely destroyed by your opponent getting a Horror House, and then they just donk you. So, you gotta watch out for Shadow Rider. Ban Gengar Mimikyu. ADP is actually not bad either. ADP does discard a lot of Pokemon when they try to dig through their deck. Um, but yeah, go try the deck out. See how it works. And uh, hopefully play against Eternus VMAX. That'd be lovely. Okay, here we go with the Crabominable deck. We have one the coin flip, which is awesome. Definitely going to go first here. And we'll see where it takes us. We are up against, it looks like a fighting deck. So it'd be Urshifu. Single Strike Urshifu would be better than Rapid Strike, to be honest. Rapid Strike would be a little sketchy. Especially without Mew. All right, we got no energy in our opening hand here, which is a little awkward. We do have the Crabominable. Oh, yeah, we'll see what we're up against here. A Roly Coley. Oh, we just have the pass. We didn't really draw anything there, so we just have to pass a turn. Let's see what my opponent does. They put a Fine Energy on. They're probably playing Santa Conda. So we'll see. They're putting more Pokemon to play, which is good. We need them to discard Pokemon, though, too. All right, let's see we top deck here. Quick Ball. 
can't attack this turn, I don't think. We have no energy in the deck. Yeah. Or no energy in our hand. All the energy is, in fact, in the deck, though. We got all the energy in the deck. Uh, Glissbot's actually going to begin this matchup, too, I assume. Might just research. Just grab research and like, bro, I actually don't even know what else I want to grab with this, to be honest. I, I can't think of any other card I want, you know? Just research and I guess like level ball? I don't know. That, that was a tough decision. Not going to lie, bro. I have no idea what I wanted to grab or what I didn't want to grab there. What the research next turn. Hopefully we get to play the Echoing Horn, though, and we get to put a Pokemon in play. We're not going to evolve into the Corominable because we don't need to just yet. I guess we could have gotten Ornay Rod off the green in case we get KO'd here. Okay, well, they started with the Rare Candy Colossal. Nice. Ooh, they do Marnie me. Okay, now that makes things awkward. Now I wish I did maybe evolve because they had a Marnie. And that could disrupt me a little bit. We'll see what we're getting here. Now we still got we still got our greens. Alan Flame coming down. That is resistance to fighting, which is a little sketchy. Oh, no. They might have me here. No, maybe not. They can't attack me. They can do Fast Flight. We have to sack the uh, Crabrawler here. It's gonna have to be the case. Okay, they lost a boss. No Pokemon get discarded though, which is the annoying thing. Okay, we'll do this. Do this, I guess. I mean, they probably have... They probably have boss in hand, but we'll see. We still really need to find a... Uh, really need to find energy here. We haven't found one yet. Even off that Marnie, they didn't give me an energy. Um, grab greens, balloons, and Evo Wincense. Could grab a, uh, an Echoing Horn, which I was tempted to do. Uh, but I have a bad feeling. If, if I get an Echoing Horn, my opponent probably just bodies me with a, uh, with a thing. I don't even know what a thing is. They might just... They, they just won't play. They'll play around the Echoing Horn, right? So, I don't think we need an Echoing Horn. Plus, we show my opponent we have it. Uh, my, a Drapion V? Wait, what? That's weak to fighting. Okay, well, that's a uh, very interesting card to see. How much does Fight Alone do here? Assuming we don't whip energy. Um, I mean, it's a dark Pokemon, but it doesn't deal with... Uh, what's his face? It doesn't deal with thing, you know? I don't know. It's an interesting tech card. We need to find energy here. I don't think we can kill the Talonflame because that resistance to fighting. I think the resistance to fighting actually just gives my opponent enough HP to take a hit here. Unless we had another Pokemon in play. Um, but we... No, we get knocked up a Hazard's Claws because it poisons me. So we have to really hope this Bruno comes in clutch. All right. Beautiful. I mean, we have to keep the Ghost Spot in play because we'll get knocked out. Well, okay. Let's gotta do some quick math here. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, just 50 plus 30. That's what? That's 80, 130. I'm pretty sure it's not knocked out. We could finish him off with Galissapod, though, which I think we're going to have to do. We hit him and then take him out with Galissapod. Or we can take him out with Mew. Maybe we should play Triple Energy then. Because we can finish him off with Mew. That's why we needed the Echoing Horn to be in play. Because we needed to slap another... Uh, we need the Echoing Horn in play to slap another Pokemon in play. Maybe we should just want Glisspod. Hard Time Slash does, what, 130 damage? It sucks this thing. I mean, it would have survived anyways. Because it... What? Oh my god, a Tool Jammer? Now I can't move my Glisspod. That's, uh, that's actually kind of annoying. It's uh, pretty rude, not gonna lie. It's very rude. Can we top deck here. Perfect. That can get us for Brawler. Make sure we have one in play for Drapion. Let's research. What do we get here? Rod's good. We'll play that. Put back the uh, put back our cramps from the discard pile. A okay, new animation. Sure. Okay. We'll just knock him out here. Fine. And then next turn, hopefully we can ri rip another guy. We have Echoing Horn, so we can play it. Hopefully we can play it twice if they get another Pokemon the discard. And the Drapion should go down. And we just have to figure out our last knockout. Pretty much how this game will go. We just have to figure out what we're going to have to knock out last to win the game. Colossal can't one-shot Crabromida. No, they had a boss, bro. Uh, never mind. Now that play is out the window. Now we have to get back to square one. How rude. We even got the energy, too, to knock him out. That sucks. Okay, well, actually, what we could do... 
do this. Grab another Crabrawler. I mean, they have a four card hand. They're down two boss. They probably don't have another one. Just saying. Uh, if we can find our own boss here, we can maybe try to boss like a town. Flame. Oh, we get Bruno. I think we. I think I'll just rather take Bruno. I'll just Echoing Horn now. Then we can swing into this and just play Bruno. I was gonna maybe boss a town flame, but I think Bruno's fine. Okay. Um. If only they had another V in play, though. We can get another grab down, which I'm tempted to do. Or another Wimpod, actually, wouldn't be bad either. Let's play the Great Ball. Try to thin out the deck as much as we can, because we don't have a supporter. Grab another Wimpod. You've seen a supporter here. Maybe chilling. We could get Marnied, obviously. This could backfire, but I think it's worth it, because we do at least need a supporter. They'll knock me out. We'll knock them out. Then we just need to one-shot the Town Flame to win the game, which we can do if they put more Pokemon in the discard pile, which currently they have not done yet. My opponent has done a good job playing around the Crabominable. There it goes. I'm also hoping they don't have another boss. I get a Guru. All right, they bench that. All right, there we go. Now Crabominable can one-shot Town Flame as long as we have two Pokemon. So we have to have Crabominable the active and then something else on the bench. And the Town Flame will go down in one hit. I wonder if they're actually going to go into the Town Flame here. Let's preserve the Drapion. They might do that, actually. They have a lot of Colossals in play right now, which is sketchy. Now, they could Marnie me here, which could could, could be bad, but they might not. Okay, no, they are going to do the Town Flame play. So we can KO their Town Flame. Oh, what? They had the perfect hand. They had the Marnie. No. Okay, there goes three of our Crabominals. Again, I had to thin the deck out, though, to draw cards. We still got... Okay, we still got ourselves a Quick Ball Great Ball, which should hopefully get us where we need to go. I have never seen three Colossals in play, though, so that's uh, kind of insane. Uh, but yeah, we can kill the Talon Flame finally, so we are on part of winning this game. We are on part of winning the game. We just need to make sure we don't with Crabominable Energy. So we can go Quick Ball for the Mew. Oh, no, it's not in the deck. We get to shuffle the deck, though. We have three Crabominables in the deck, five energy. What are the chances we hit off Great Ball? We don't. Why would we? We research... We have to find the... We go. We got it. Yeah, don't even have to sweat it, bro. We actually got it. Let's go. We got greens for next turn, which is pretty good, too. Quick ball this way. We don't really need Crabominal anymore. Just thin out the deck as much as we can. And take the knockout here on the Town Flame. So now all we have to do is kill their Drapion to win the game. They can't kill me with Colossal unless they have a Dojo in the deck. That's the only way they can stop me here is that they play a Martial Dojo. They can knock me out Colossal, which would lose the game. So they have to go Drapion here, or they have to find another Pokemon that can't that doesn't get one-shot by Galissapod. So if they play Sanaconda, it'll get one-shot by Galissapod. So they have to be careful. What the? A Tyrant RV? Bro. Oh, not weak to grass. I just, like, I freaked out for a sec. <laughs> a Tyrant RV? But that is weak to grass. Never mind. Okay, there's a Marnie. That's fine. That puts me closer to Galissapod energy. So that's totally fine by me. It's a very interesting deck. What? Bro, Marnie didn't get me a Galissapod out. Uh-oh. All right, well, I think we lost. Well, we'll see. Ah, this is bad. Yeah, they have a lot of Pokemon that goes pocket of weakness. Oh, they're going to go with the Tarantar. Craigalan. Okay, well, if actually Craigalan, if they just hit my Glisspod, we just lose. Huh. Yeah, if they just hit Glisspod here, we just lose. Oh, no. Okay, that's bad. Those were two outs I had. Oh, my God. Oh, no, wait, we can still attack them. Hold on, we still have another turn. You can still knock him out. Okay, never mind. Oh, they on the dot too, bro. My, for some reason, I thought we weren't doing enough damage to KO them there. Uh, but there we go. That is game number one. That was a weird match. Um, I guess, like, that that was an interesting list. I guess the dark types were for Shadow Rider, obviously. The Tarantar caught me off guard, but I forgot it was weak to grass. Um, yeah, we could just win with with the uh, with with Carbonwell. I just, for some reason, I didn't think we were doing enough damage. But jokes on me, we were doing enough damage. Okay, um, we've won the coin flip, which is good. We'll see what we're playing against here. Looks like a water deck. Oh, look at all those Pokemon search cards in our hand. Yeah, it might be a water deck here, I'm assuming. I'll have to see how that goes. We'll see what we start with here. All right, Crabrawler. Not bad. Pretty decent hand. Got research. All right, we'll see what it is. What are they playing? What could they be playing? Not Team Aqua deck. No way. Oh, they mulliganed. Eternatus. I imagine this is Eternatus. Okay. 
So, I mean, we have so many options in this matchup. If it is a turn, just get a second crow brawler. A turn is absolutely gets just dump trucked by fight alone. It's actually insane. Um, even with weakness guard energy, like, bro, they literally will have a Pokemon to play. So, I, I think a turn is a very favorable matchup. However, I would like to have my opponent actually imagine this is a turn. I want my opponent to actually keep their two Eternus in play. So, if one Eternus goes down, they can't just discard all the remaining Eternus, they can't discard their bench. But I actually want them to have two Eternus VMAX in play at all times. That might be weird to say, but this way they can keep their bench nice and big, right? That's kind of my thought process here. This should be a... Honestly, this should be a very quick match, though. Um, because we we just... We hit their Eternus for weakness, so... But I will take it. Research and no Pokemon to get discarded. You hate to see it. That's why I didn't reset Stammy, actually, too. I guess I'm glad. If we can draw into a uh, twin or triple here, we can play greens... Which I wouldn't mind doing. We'll see though. Yeah, unfortunately we didn't see a basic get discarded off that research. There's a Moltres. That's fine. We got Glissopod. This is like this like this is why this deck is kind of fun to play. You just take a really good matchup against Eternus V Max. As long as you don't get unlucky or you dead draw. Alright. And even in this scenario, like. Oh. Huh. I mean, we just go for it. I don't know if my opponent will concede or not because, like, they're playing against maybe the worst matchup they could ever have played against, technically speaking. But in this scenario, we can actually get multiple Abominables in play, right? We can actually afford to bench, like, two. Ah, oh, we whiffed the energy. But we also whiffed a Pokemon or a supporter for next turn. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ash, not good whatsoever. Uh-oh. We whiffed the Pokemon here, folks. That is not good. We didn't get a supporter. We gotta pray they Marnie me, so I just gotta... gotta play like they're gonna Marnie me here. We can still afford to fall back a little bit, too, because of how, like, insane this deck is, but that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Not getting a supporter or an energy off of that research is very annoying. Now I wish I just played greens. We weren't KOing them anyways, but like still, that's like, bruh. That's such a big bruh moment. Especially because we didn't get a supporter. We had to bench the Wimpod because we can go Glisspot here because they might end up going with Moltres V. This is not ideal for us though. Hopefully we can top deck something here. Or we get Marnied. We might get Marnied, which I'm hoping happens. Okay, nice. They put a weakness card on their Lipard, which is a waste. Let's go when we get Marnied. All right. Please just give me an energy or a supporter or just something, bro. Come on. Let's see it. There we go. Ooh, we got boss. Oh, we don't have energy, though. We're not really carrying much anyways, because we did bench a couple extra Pokemon. Yeah, they're going to go with the Moltres, which... Well, they can't even attack with it, right? No, no, they can. That's fine. Because now we just knock them out Glisspot here. Pretty good. The problem is, though, my opponent has yet to put any basics in the discard. That is the one thing we want to see them do, is put basics in the discard end. The one thing we want them to do, they have not done yet. So that is making things a little complicated and awkward, not going to lie. Would have been nice to see them discard a few basics here, but... Not much I can do about that. Let's take the Mew out of the deck. Don't really need that anymore. Research. We just need to find Glisspot and Energy here. There we go. We got him. We got Erica too for next turn, and we'll see how it goes. Well, they might not even be able to attack me, actually, because they energy switched, so they might not be able to attack me here. But yeah, this matchup, again, very good, even though my opponent is very much not benching things, but we can just re-put the Moltres back in play anyways. There we go. We got a twin energy, which is huge. I am worried about a Marnie, though. We did waste a few supporters there. Marnie could actually put us into a pretty bad hand, because we have three supporters in our hand here. But yeah, they just concede. I mean... Not really the most eventful matches, but again, Eternus should still be a... It could be very quick matches anyways against that, but we'll take it, bro. Free matchups, free wins against Eternus VMAX is always a very good feeling. All right, into the first match. My opponent, I don't know if they were playing when they flipped over the coin, so I just cut that whole beginning part because it was like a minute of doing nothing. All right, it is Shadow Rider. Oh, wait. So we just auto lose Shadow Mist. Okay, wow. Okay, well, we'll see if they actually do Shadow Mist. We can maybe play around it. We do just lose here to Shadow Mist, though. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if we can actually play around the Shadow Mist here. So, we can go greens for double evil incense. 
basically what I'm trying to say is my opponent might not um they might just evolve anyways, right? They will, like, we might auto lose here, but they might play around the Shadow Mist. Like, they might just evolve anyways, and we don't have to worry about the Shadow Mist or Astral Barrage, whatever the, yeah, Shadow Mist. We'll see. If my opponent literally can just win it, they just click Shadow Mist over and over. But if they, for some reason, don't. See, look, my opponent probably didn't know what I'm playing, so I didn't have to worry about it. And it paid off. The problem is, they only have one Pokemon to play currently. Um, so we'll see if they put more Pokemon down here. There we go. There's a Dedenne. All right, uh, there's a Pokemon gets discarded for Horn. Mind you, they can re-discard it, I guess. But we don't play any stadiums, so we might have to worry about it. Yeah, I might not have to worry about that. We don't play stadiums. They lose a boss, which is good, too. We need them to bench more Pokemon. Yeah, Shadow Rider, as long as your opponent doesn't win with Shadow Mist, and maybe we, we should probably play Energy to counter that. To be fair, I don't know what Energy you would play. But if you guys want to put Energy in the deck to counter Shadow Mist, by all, by all means, you might want to do that. Um, but other than that, this matchup should be pretty good as long as your opponent doesn't Shadow Mist you, because... Literally, the whole idea of the deck is putting, like, a bunch of Vs in play and stuff. So, like, Glissopod gobbles them up, and then you have, you know, Crabominable, which is really good, too, because they always fill their bench up. They could try to go Gengar Mimikyu, which would be a little awkward, but it's unlikely they get it. Oh, they get a Sogolil Lunala. I gotta do a video on that card before it rotates. Okay, they don't bench anything else, which is smart. So, there's an Echoing Horn. Well... We actually don't need to play the Horn, because they didn't bench any else so there's no reason to play it actually they didn't even bench anything so we don't need to play it i'm actually gonna play quick ball get rid of another quick ball to thin out the deck a little bit grab this and we're not gonna play the horn just yet because there's no gx's in the discard and then we'll just hit him pretty hard if we get two shot the shadow rider which is really good we'll see if my opponent realizes they can win with shadow mist or not though we do a boss we can try to boss around it all right alchemy v max that's fine see what they do here play their turn out a little bit more yep there we go underworld door hopefully they evolve the shadow rider we just gotta pray they don't realize they can literally just win by going shadow mist but we can try to maybe gust around the shadow mist that's our only counter like there's really no way to stop the shadow mist unfortunately so it just i don't think sh well no sh doesn't chandler stop it i don't know actually anyways we'll see what happens they are just filling their bench up go gold spot is doing like a billion damage right now Probably better to go Glow Spot here, but I think I'd rather go the Crabominable route. Save Glow Spot for a rainy day. From Craballer. Try to KO them here. Let's see we top deck. Research. I think I would rather just play that then. I just play Research, you know. Now we just Research. It's fine. Crabominable Energy. We get yeah, there. Let's see what this gets us. Nice. I'll yeah, see what happens. Well, we can put Twin Energy on so they can't just go with the... Uh... Yeah, Twin Energy actually just completely top Shadow Mist. See? So that's how you can counter them. Alright, let's see what our prizes are here. Another Corraller's awesome. And Scoop Up Net. Alright. Don't really need that. Rod's pretty good, though. We'll get back Glow Spot. I think Glow Spot's better in this matchup than Crabominable, but... My man does its work, too. Now... See what my opponent does. They can Shadow Mist me, but that's not gonna stop me because I already have an Energy in play. Um, unless they play Fan of Waves, which they probably don't. So I think we should just run them over here. I wouldn't mind playing Greens next turn and then put a Horn and then put another Shadow in play. We literally should win. And like, we honestly could win this turn, actually. To be fair, if they put another V in play, we I think we can actually just win by going Knockout Sogaleo Lunalo with Glissopod. We need a boss, though, however. We need boss and Horn, or they need to put a V in play. To actually kale the solo Lunala. But they just concede anyways. I'll take it. Another <laughs> win. Again, short match. But, I mean, I guess that'll happen with this deck sometimes if your opponent just overextends. We should probably play a counter to Shadow Rider, though, to be fair. But there are going to be scenarios where the opponent might not play around it. And if we just get a Twin Energy in play before then, then you're usually just fine. Okay, here we go. Do we do in the coin flip? We don't. Okay. They're playing against here. Haven't hit an ADP deck yet, which is, like, I guess good and bad. ADP should be a favorable matchup, though. Like, their deck is, like, full of GXs and Vs. And they usually do overextend and bench Pokemon, or they discard Pokemon for us to Echoing Horn into play. Like, Eternus ADP are pretty favorable, I would say, because we don't play two prizers. Um, Eternus is, without a doubt, our best matchup, though. Like, easily, if there's any matchup that's our best matchup, it is, without a doubt, Eternus VMAX. Without a doubt, it's Eternus VMAX, but... 
ADP is decent too. Shadow Rider is also winnable. You just have to make sure you attach a Twin Energy before they do Shadow Mist. Or they don't do Shadow Mist whatsoever. Okay. This hand is very bad. We got no supporter. Uh oh. Maybe we should bump up the count of... Uh, bump up the count of, um, thing. I mulligan that many times? Jeez. Oh, another return matchup? But the problem is, our hand sucks. Maybe we should bump up the count of, um... We should bump up the count of Poke Gear, maybe? However... I smell something coming, guys. You smell that? It smells like a Marnie. Just saying, bro. I'm just saying, bro. We might get Marnied here, so we'll just grab the Karamo. They might Marnie me, right? They have a massive hand. They can't really research it. So, if they're gonna play supporter, it might just be a Marnie, which is good for us. So, we'll see what happens. I think just even when just for the Karabomitable here makes it more likely we'll get Marnied. Because they're like, oh, you got the attacker in your hand. Ah, you can get rid of that. We're gonna Marnie you. And then we gotta play Marnie does not give us a dead hand. We do play a lot of supporters in the deck for a reason, though. All right, here we go. We need them to get Pokemon into play for Bakarabamarabal. So we'll see how it goes. Again, return is a free matchup for us, technically speaking. The problem is, when we get a bad start, uh, you, you, don't beat, you don't beat your good matchup if you get a bad opening hand. That's the only issue. Okay. Oh, they did have a Marnie. So they're researching, most likely. Oh, no. They were they had three quick balls, so they were able to play their hand down where the Marnie actually isn't very relevant. Not what you want to see here, folks. This is not what you want to see. We can still afford to fall back a little bit because we just one-shot pretty much everything. We we can afford to, like, give up a few prizes. Because, like, if they put two EV Max in play, it's like you just win by two attacks. Like, yeah. No, Marnie. You love to see it. Oh, but we top deck a Professor's Research at the last second, which is clutch. Uh, we do have the Waste and Echoing Horn here, which is unfortunate. But whatever. There's the energy. Nice. Hold on. Let me do some math real quick. I just got to make sure... We can bench another Crabrawler, which I would like to do, because they're going to kill me with a VMAX. I think we KO this thing. 130 HP. Yeah, we can knock it out if we bench this, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is a knockout. Should be. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. On the dot. Yeah, just making sure my math wasn't off there. So I want to make sure we have another Crabominable, because they're going to go return as V here. And they have to go VMAX, which means we can play into their attack and then knock them out, hopefully. If all goes well. Play the twin or the triple so that we don't have to worry about the twin. There you go. Now we can just knock out VMAX and Moltres or VMAX Crobat to win the game. So that was a good knockout. This is the find the VMAX though. But this should be a cakewalk. Now they could get a weakness card energy on. And they can also not bench too many Pokemon. We have to find Equine Horn though. We can still two shot though. It's really not that big of a deal. With Glissbot and Crabomble combined together, bro, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Because we can still two shot them. Like, even if they get a weakness card, even if they don't play into, you know, the Kerbominal's big damage output we can do if they fill up their bench for Dread End, uh, we can still play around, you know, just two-shot them anyways. And, like, because we got that knockout, we don't have to KO two VMAXs. We can also KO Crobat or Moltres, so that's really good. There is the VMAX. No, they're going to get the V. If they ever get two returns V and play all, or VMAX and play also, this does mean that their ability will stay. Oh, no, but they do Marnie me, which is really annoying. We are going to lose our Bruno and Twin. And our Great Ball, this could actually backfire for me and give me a dead hand. I'm scared. Let's go. We still got research. And they concede. All right. You know what? Again, very short match. But I mean, in that scenario, I guess they just move on. It's like, well, what do I do? Like, I use my Eternus VMAX. I get body by Crabominable. Right? So it's like, they probably had to concede that game. I don't blame them. But you know what? I hate Eternus VMAX. I love getting free wins on it. Okay, here we go. We've lost the coin flip. All right, yeah, we're not going to go first, unfortunately. See so, yeah, how we start here. There's a mulligan. That would have been a decent hand to have if we did get a curballer there. But we'll see what we get. We'll see what we're playing against, too. A lot of stuff going on, so I can't really tell what we're up against. But hopefully they bench Pokemon. That's the goal at the end of the day. And oh, no, we got a Wimpard. Not good. We got one Pokemon. No supporter or Glisspod. So that's just not good. Ooh, is it another Eternus VMAX deck? Yo, sign me up. Weezing, weak fighting, not really a big deal because we don't play any abilities anyways. Spike mouth. Might be a spirit tomb deck. Yeah, hopefully we draw something here. I'll take it. That's actually... Uh, we can't play it next turn though, I don't think. Oh no. Weezing, we don't lose right away, but yeah, I mean... Mulligans are mulligans. A Rapidash. Oh no! Does that knock me out? No, they're 10 off. I'm pretty sure they're 10 damage short. 
Yeah, I think they're 10 damage short here. There's a research. No Pokemon get discarded. Nice. We need to see some Pokes get discarded there for our uh, big old thing. There's a Quick Ball. There we go. Now Aquaine Horn can put stuff in play. The more Pokemon they get, the better. The only problem is, again, we will lose the game if we can't play any cards from our hand down, which really sucks. Let's we'll see if they mention any more Pokemon here. I don't even... The best... We have to get a card that we can draw cards like greens, or we have to draw something even better. We survive with 10 HP. Come on, we need a top deck here. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. We got ourselves a top deck. We can play Erica. We've been gifted a second chance. Cool beans. Eh, put that on, sure. Play the Erica. Draw three cards. Dig get much else. Rip. Do we ever keep Wimpot alive? Probably not, right? It's pretty, pretty much dead weight in this matchup. The only reason I ever want to protect it is to actually keep the air balloon active, but it's fine to let it die. I'm not I'm not really worried about this thing getting KO'd. Rapidash does have resistance to fighting, so it might be a bit harder to KO. We'll see though. Interesting idea. So they use Rapidash. Put Pokemon below so you can KO with smog burst. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't played a Rapidash deck in a long time. Maybe I should. We did get a new rap. We got some new Rapidash artworks, so I don't know. Unfortunately, the Erica didn't give us much to work with either, but at least we can attack and take a prize next turn. So we're still in a decent spot, I would say, when we get the KO here. It doesn't look like they can actually respond with much either. Triple is our energy, though, so we use triple. It's not going to be useful anymore, but we'll see. Probat's a great Pokemon for us to have in play. We can also find that Horn and put a second Rapid Ash in play. There's a Moltres. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Uh, okay, no energy for Moltres. That's good. Nice. Okay, so we should live the turn next turn. So we probably won't get killed next turn. But we need to get a supporter top deck. We'll see we draw. No, that's not it. No, not like this, bro. Come on. Give me a top deck. Oh, yeah. Circle Gloves also attack Rapidash, too. All right, come on. We need a top deck eventually. So we definitely want to just take a KO here. We could have also KO'd the Crobat. I guess I'm taking two prizes. We'll do that. Maybe we should have actually done that. Okay, we got another Erica. Beautiful. That's a pretty good supporter in this scenario. That's better than Bruno. Not as good as Research. Or greens, but Erica is still something we can use to draw cards. Because I'm imagining they're going to bench another coffee and to get another wheezing in play, which is good. Uh, can they kill me this turn? I don't think they can. Now, what I'm predicting is they'll leave Rapidash active. They'll do Libra Horn. That's the Struggle Gloves on. As long as Erica can come in clutch, we might actually be able to kill the Rapidash because Struggle Gloves is letting us hit that extra damage. That's why I do play the one of Struggle Gloves because it does help against these psychic Pokemon that have resistance to fighting. Oh no, they can knock. Oh no, Psychic doesn't kill me. They're actually, the triple energy is actually insane here because they can't kill me with Psychic actually. Just realize Psychic actually doesn't knock me out because of the triple energy. Oh my gosh. Yo, that's so clutch. Triple energy is saving our butt right now. The Psychic does 120 damage, but that actually won't KO me because we have no energy on us. Yo. Triple energy. Okay, now I'm glad that wasn't a twin energy. That's huge. Also, oh no, they can't. No, they can't even do Psychic. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot I said that. I forgot they actually need two psychics. Never mind, that doesn't work. Uh, Glissapod is now a good attacker in this matchup, so I might as well rot it back. Let's see what they do here. This is perfect, though. We one-shot the Rapidash. One-shot anything in play, actually. Um, yep, Libra Horn. Will they concede if we find energy here? We're about to find out. Forty damage. Lol. All right. Um, we have to play the Rod, so we have to put the Pokemon back. I'm just going to put back... The Wimpod. Yeah. Don't want to put too many things back. This pod is arguably better in the scenario. No energy. Yeah, kind of expected that. We will get knocked out now by Psychic. Another Crabomitable. That's unfortunate. It's fine. We got Bruno for next turn. We'll bench Wimpod while we're at it and just pass. All good. We can find energy next turn. We can try to... Maybe actually we should have actually... We should have evolved. We should have saved the Evil Sense for a Glow Spot, actually. But we could get Marnie, so it's probably better to have that. But we can't one-shot Rapidash because we're only going to be doing 200 damage. Yeah, they'll live with 10 HP, I think. Never mind, they don't... They don't have the, uh... They don't have the thing. Okay, they do Marnie me. I saw that coming. So I'm glad I played the Evil Sense because they Marnie me anyways. We just need to find energy here. We can kill the Rapidash because they actually won't KO me because... Yeah. Well, I mean, no supporter, but at least we're going to get two prizes, most likely, unless they go into the Weezing, which they could very well do here. They can go into Weezing. Um... Oh, wait, no, we don't KO them, right? Because we bench... Never mind, we don't KO them. Never mind, I just realized. Unless we draw a scoop-up net here, 
Make sure we know we don't kill them. Oh, well, we'll play that. Shuffle the deck. Get another card brawler. Actually, I don't think we have a knockout. Do we even attack them then? We might as well save the energy. We're still in top deck mode. Yeah, we don't have a KO there, I'm pretty sure. Right? Am I just like way off or like... I'm pretty sure I'm not off there. Even with a 30 damage boost, I think we're still just shy of a knockout. Oh no, we did have a KO actually. No, I think we did actually have a knockout. I think we were actually doing 210 on the dot, right? 30, 200... No, did we have a knockout? Was I... Was I wrong, guys, in the comments? Was, was my math off there? Did we actually have a KO? I think we did. That's fine, though. We saved the... It doesn't really matter. We get to save the energy anyways, but... Rapidash isn't really that much of a threat. Hmm. Yeah, might have been off. We can just KO them with Carbomitable. I actually would prefer to save Ghost Pod, so I actually will just KO them with Carbomitable here. Yeah, let's KO them with the... We'll KO them with the Crabs. We can do 230 damage. I think I actually did have a KO. I might have been off. They just put a Crobat VMAX in play, which is good for us. Uh... Yeah. I'm going to knock my Crab. We'll save Ghost Pod for a rainy day. I mean, we're doing so much damage with it. Nice. That's a good top deck. We'll do triple again so they can't come with Rapidash. Knock him out. I'm not going to bench anything else. We're going to take a KO. We could have benched. Ah, uh, we could have benched Carbominal. That's fine. The spot's still looming in the background. Let's see if we can find a supporter. No, we get more energy, though, which is always good. The more energy we have in the deck, the better. They can't KO me. We put the triple energy on. They Rapidash will only do 120 damage. They can't go with Moltres again unless they have... Nope, there's no way they can attack me this turn. So we're chilling. They can do Leberhorn. Yeah, insane, bro. Maybe I should have went Ghost Pod then, actually, because then they can't... I don't know. Oh, we do Scoop of Net. Okay. Well, we can't play it. I was like, oh, we can Scoop of Net, but that's not going to work. So let's go... Let's play the Horn. Put the Moltres back into play. We'll... We'll just attack them here, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Well, there's all of our supporters, as you guys can see. <laughs> right alone. Yeah, we weren't going to kill them. We were going to do 200, so we might as well just attack them. Yeah, no, we didn't have a knockout. Yeah, look at that. We didn't actually have a KO there with the struggle gloves on. I was right. So it was right to actually do that. So they will KO me, and then we just KO him Ghost Pod. But it is good to just hit the Rapidash, right? Just get damage on it. Um, we still need to find a supporter, but at least we're getting energy. So we're still holding on by, like, a thread. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have played the Twin, because we could have used Triple Ghost Pod. I don't know. Well, let's just see what we draw here. Okay, gear. That should get a supporter, right? Boss. Do some quick math real quick. 300 HP. So we go 80. Plus 50. 80, 130, 180. No, we're not going to crop Baby Max. Okay. We do just kill the active, I think. That's unfortunate. The one supporter we get, and it's the boss, which we can't even play. Ha ha ha. All right. Well, we get two prizes. We should get something, right? Energy's good. We probably have a lot of energy. This is bad, though. They probably have a Kale Rapid Ash. That Poke Gear let us down big time. It did not give us... It didn't give us a draw supporter. We actually might lose this. We. I'm actually honestly looking at it and thinking about it. I am very surprised we did not get a draw supporter off that Poke Gear. We only got one supporter. Like, remember, Poke Gear can get you any supporter you want. It does... Like, all the supporters in the top seven cards you can grab. It doesn't have to just be just one supporter. It's not like random receiver. Yo, that might have actually screwed us over. We honestly could lose this game. If we don't draw something here, we could lose. Never mind. Okay, they don't have the rapid ash attack. I'm just like, I was scared they would just knock me out with psychic. Like, they actually could win the game. Like, if they knock me out with psychic here and we don't draw a supporter, we actually will lose the game probably. Right? We can go Wimpod, which can take a hit. I guess that's what we would have done if they did knock me out. We didn't draw anything here. We could go Wimpod. They do 60 damage and we scoob them net it. But then they can also power Moltres in the background. Yeah, it's just looking bleak. Okay, they don't have anything. So we just win. There's a greens. All right, yeah, we just win. We just gust out the Moltres and just knock it out. All right, there we go. All right, we'll take it. Crabominable. As you can see, we beat my opponents. Very interesting uh, Weezing deck. But I'll take it. You know what? Free wins against turns is VMAX and free wins against Dark decks, which, you know what, just so happens to be very popular right now. 
though. I will take the dubs. And oh, so close to the Shining Packs. So anyway, start off the DK's PDCG video, guys, on the Crabominable deck. It's a really cool deck. Um, there might be some changes you can make to it. I don't know what else you would really add to the deck. I honestly wouldn't mind me playing more supporters, to be honest. Um, you could go down to two boss because, as you can see, boss screwed us over there. But boss could get cut. Like, go down to two boss. But, I mean, Echoing Horn boss is, like, kind of a strategy we have with this deck. So, that's why I'm, like, skeptical on cutting the boss. But we could go down to two boss. We could play, like, an extra Poke Gear. I actually wouldn't mind playing a third Poke Gear in the deck. Um, there's not much else you can really add to the deck. There's no Pokemon you can really put in the deck. Again, you kind of need to keep it very bare bones in the Pokemon. The Pokemon was perfectly fine. Um, you could add a Chaotic Swell to the deck. I don't know. There's just not much else you could add. You could add maybe like a counter to Shadow Rider. I mean, yeah, but then they can also just go Gengar Mimikyu and or House You. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed Chase PCU video, guys, on this Carbominable Horns deck, try it out yourself. You wanna, if, you, if you're sick of playing against Eternus VMAX, you hate it, play this deck and you run into it, you might get some free dubs. That'll be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Help me the way to reach 18,000 subs. We are getting close, guys. We are 400 subscribers away from 18K subs. We're on the road to 17.7K now. So if you haven't subbed already, make sure to do so. Check out Car coming down below. Peace out.